What up? Big Herc 916, positivity and motivation. Never settle for average. And now we do it over here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the channel, and go to BigHerc916.com and pick you up some merch. Grab your hat, grab your t shirt, uh, bar of soap, wash your ass, and uh, stop stinking, man. Don't walk around smelling funky. You know, I had a question for you guys. Going back to this Titanic uh, exploration sub. I want to know, where is the footage of these guys getting in the sub? You know, if you pay a quarter million dollars, you will make sure that this exploration of yourself and your five friends is highly documented. Does anybody have any footage where they show these people climbing into this sub and have it being lowered from the vessel into the ocean with them inside the uh, sub waving, excited to explore? Does anybody have any of that? Because the only footage I've seen as far as them in the sub is pictures, but it, I don't see I haven't, excuse me, I haven't saw anything with them climbing in and being lowered. And then I want to see where is the actual footage of them inside the submersible in the ocean from an outside view. They show pictures of them inside of it, but it looked like it was almost photoshopped. Do you think these people were really in the sub? Do you think that a billionaire or a multi-millionaire would go down in a immersible, would appear to be almost like a homemade submarine with a Bluetooth, uh, video game controller does that sound real did you see some of the parts that they sourced to build this thing and then they said that it imploded and they found the pieces but they said that after the fact because they acted like they didn't know where it was and they kept looking for it now they barely have unmanned vessels that can go to the bottom of the ocean the ocean is some of the most explored unexplored parts of our world we don't we don't know half the shit that's down there but yet these guys were going to go down there in a, a vessel that had no oxygen tube attached to it with five people now how much air do you think that's that could hold you think that was enough air for them to even get down there just start doing the math man just let's look at some common sense what sense does that make realistically how far down do you think that thing was going to get to begin with far enough to go down to the titanic this shit ain't adding up man it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Five people in a small ass, would appear to be the size of a minivan, sitting on the floor, Bluetooth joystick, no radio communication. Where's the radio communications at? No oxygen supply as far as a, 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 conne a connection tube. This shit is this shit is fishy, man. We got to look at it, if there are some major insurance policies involved in this whole thing, and, and and look at what was going on the week when they were looking for this sub. Wasn't that the week that they were bringing charges and Hunter Biden took his plea deal? Wasn't there some other shit going on with a county with Ukraine? See, whenever you have all the news 
outlets talking about the same story, there's a bamboozle going down. They're putting down a hoodwink. This shit ain't adding up. Passengers on a 21 foot sub were British businessman Hamish Harding, Pakistani businessman Shazada Dawood, and his teenage son Suleiman, French explorer Paul Henry Nargolette, Nargolette, and Stockton Rudd, CEO of Oceangate, the company that operates the vessel. Something fishy about this shit, man. That story was on every news outlet while a bunch of other shit was going down. This was a cover up for something else. Come on, man. I wouldn't, you couldn't have paid me a quarter million dollars to go down there, let alone have me pay to go down in a 21 foot submersible to see the Titanic when they barely have had unmanned uh, submarines successfully make that trip going down into the abyss. I ain't buying it, man. You tell me if you buy it. Big Herc 916. Hello, my name is Big Herc 916 and I'm with the Wash Your Ass Committee and I'm traveling across America helping people wash their ass and get their booty holes clean. And I have with me here today, wash your ass soap. And this one in particular is butt naked scrub, but I also have festival, oatmeal milk and honey, you're making me crazy, um, monkey farts, and all these scents smell very good. They will help cleanse your body of funk and also make you feel better about yourself. So. If you can go to BigKirk916.com, you can pick you up a bar. And my goal is to help America combat funk. Go to the Herc store at BigKirk916.com and pick you up a bar of soap so you can wash that ass. Or pick you up some Never Settle for Average merch or some of the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle merch. We have hats, Never Settle for Average, Got the Muscle Up t-shirts. We also have the Never Settle for Average tank tops. Got the Muscle Up Car Lifestyle hoodies. Got the beanie caps. Hey man, represent. And I know you guys aren't average, so pick you up some swag and step your game up. Hello, I'm Big Herc 916 Contact me for life coaching and motivational speaking. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.